Working. Merci. Hey guys, you are live. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we are. Here with uh, the OC Days and Mouang Sartou in France. Yep. Bienvenue, welcome. Thanks. Thanks. So, how are you guys? Yeah, it's very working very well in Berlin. We have really a lot of stuff going on here with circular textiles, but also a lot of other interesting things. Cool. Absolutely. No, we're having a great time. Good weather, nice and great discussion. Really, cool. really good. So I think we can next over winter uh, around building up circular library. And I started writing up and back with one or two people from Montsartou. And so they told me they would um, want to touch base or we decided to touch base on this idea of circular library. And really I've been hearing from you guys what, uh, what that is all about. Tell us what you're doing there. Okay, so on the library. So, uh, yeah, so tell us what you're doing in general and on the library. So, okay, so you can yeah. start on the general yeah. and I'll do on the I'll start on the general part. So, like the idea of the OC days in Morsatu, uh, we, we're actually not from Morsatu, we, ju we just came to this city because it's a um, very interesting city. We are kind of in a, a transition as regards like social innovation and eco ecological innovation. And the idea was to is to study how they did things, so how we can replicate it in <coughs> different cities, and also to accelerate initiatives there, to create new projects. And um, so it started yesterday. Yesterday was pretty much um, getting to know the place, meeting um, local actors, uh, getting to know the city hall people, see what's going on, and we did a um, few interviews, stuff like this. Collected uh, lots of data to understand what are the needs there and how we can um, help them and exchange with them and collaborate. And uh, things really started for real today. So uh, this morning we started to to work on the topic of sustainable um, agriculture. So we visited the um, farm in Mosatu. So one original thing, if you can see in Mosatu, we've got a farm owned by the city hall. Which is which was the first in France, and there's like very very few places that work this way, and they provide food for the school and kindergartens. So food uh, food in, in schools is 100% like organic, and like pretty much all of it comes from the from, come from Orsat too. So it's quite quite amazing, and also on, the, on waste management, we're really really good at school. For 400 uh, kids, we've got like average four kilos of waste, which is like nothing so like we did a very big um, awareness campaign the kids are sorting the food themselves they also when they, uh, they um, when they get the food they choose which amount of food they, they get so they won't waste it so it's a really interesting process and on the part of the food also grown locally so this morning we worked on the um, on how Monsatru could be totally self-sufficient as we on food growing because they've got the capacity, they've got enough land to do it. But the main um, blocking point is that um, landlords don't want to rent their land to farmers because, like here, it's uh, French Riviera, so you could build a big villa and sell it, sell it for millions. So that's what we prefer to do than just growing food and yeah, just lending lending it to um, to farmer. And, um, and actually, Monsatu, what they did, they um, classed these lands as um, agricultural um, lands for agriculture. So actually, the landlords yeah. can't can sell it anymore. They can't build a house anymore. So they're actually kind of pissed. So they don't they don't want to lend uh, to to allow uh, farmers to to use their lands. So we we worked on this aspect on how we could um, find solutions. You know, um, find lever lever leverage or in incentives to um, to to make them. Um, not give away the land, but we'll, um, lending it for, for, for farmers. So yeah, work on this on, the, on the, this morning, and um, some other people work on their projects. Many projects going on, but we're gonna post some videos tonight. Uh, everyone is gonna explain their projects. So maybe that's the part where Maxim can explain his project. Yes. Uh, can we switch? The <laughs> yeah. so that you get yes. No. So uh, <laughs> because the, the mic is just there. Uh, so, 
I'm working on the project Inventaire. So uh, the website, the, the web application is at Inventaire.io. Uh, inventaire and uh, first, first, a little bit about you, okay, before you introduce uh, int Tell us first a little bit about you, Maxime. Okay, so I'm Maxime. I'm uh, from France, mainly Lyon. And uh, I have been uh, working uh, since the end of my studies on uh, information on resources and how we could decouple information on resources from businesses. Uh, so, because uh, my 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 uh, the end of my my master thesis was about uh, uh, the toxicity of marketing, and uh, the conclusion was that a, a way to get rid of uh, uh, the state of marketing was to reverse the, the way we get information on resources. That is, that today uh, there is uh, information on resources that is pushed through advertising, and we could do it the other way. There could be there could be businesses and other. Economical, uh, economic agents uh, just publishing data on the resources and us citizens, consumers, aggregating the data with our softwares, our uh, 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 algorithms and interfaces. And it will really change the game because for, uh, for the moment when you want, for instance, for the example of books, when you want a very specific book, uh, you know Amazon will have it and you don't know which little bookseller has it uh, nearby. And so you go to Amazon because he, he has the kind of the, the, the biggest mass, so he gets sort of a, a, a gain, uh, a, 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 um, a critical mass that makes so many people go to him. But if we could just ask, uh, if we could just have uh, um, uh, data from every economic agent of what they offer, and have those data aggregated, we could have uh, uh, a catalog way broader than any giants of retailing. We could be, uh, we could have uh, 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 very old books, for example, or very specific uh, things. And uh, and there are a lot of uh, so the the, the 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 big interest is that uh, businesses won't control the interface and the data. And we could control the interface and data, so we could uh, uh, sort differently. We could sort on other things than price. We could sort on uh, environmental impact, social impact, proximity, things that uh, 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 businesses will never do. Uh, we could uh, have all sorts of remixes, what free software and, and, and open knowledge allows. Uh, uh, and so that was the like the motivation at the end of my studies. So I have been. Uh, working on that and uh, trying to to build a prototype on that, but as I was in uh, 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 economic science uh, management things, I I, uh, uh, I couldn't build it myself, so I started to, to look for people to do it for me, uh, like the technical part, and nobody wanted to go in such a broad and blurred uh, direction. So since two years, I have been uh, learning web development. So now I'm prototyping on my IDs, uh, 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 kind of just uh, going there. <laughs> so that's where I am now. I, I try this first uh, uh, prototype in this di direction, that is Inventaire.io. And it's about uh, 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 having economic agents like uh, actual people uh, doing the inventory of their books, saying what is to buy, to uh, what uh, what big book they want to give, what book they want to share, what book they want to buy, uh, to sell. Sorry, and and so they they publish the information, and other people get access to it, and we could have people and libraries and booksellers publishing the the the, the books they have for those different transaction modes. And then, uh, what is really important is once uh, once you get, for example, you, you buy a book to a bookseller. Uh, normally, you get this little piece of paper that says that you have bought this book, but you have bought this book. And we could replace this by just a flow of data. We could have the book going from the bookseller inventory to the new owner inventory and then the, the person reads the book and just say oh now i'm done with the book and he just he, uh, he or she has just has to change the, the transaction mode and say now it's available for giving uh, sharing or selling so 
uh, you don't lose the information. You could really just uh, continue. And it's about, I don't know if you're familiar with uh, vendor relationship management systems. Uh, well, uh, maybe if you're, uh, uh, yeah, it's, it will be a bit broad to explain, but uh, basically it's the idea that we consumers, uh, uh, no, businesses have, have a lot of tools to handle their relationships with uh, consumers. They have a lot of data and we consumers have close to nothing. So we could try to, uh, uh, we, we should uh, build tools to be better armed in those relationships and uh, do well. So that, that's one aspect, it's to have bit, uh, better, but I, I'm getting a bit, a bit hard. So, uh, so uh, back on, uh, oh. <laughs> Are you, is that still, are you, yeah. Uh, okay. And uh, so, um, and so, what we are doing here uh, in uh, uh, Monsatu is we want the library to start uh, to uh, uh, um, make the inventory of some books, uh, uh, publish the inventory online of books uh, about uh, um, a circular economy and related topics. And we, we, we want to try to get other uh, 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 people interested in those topics to also uh, add the bookshelf so that we get a distributed library about uh, the circular economy. We can just, uh, it's just about those different people uh, uh, adding their, their, their inventory, like starting an inventory and then connecting. Uh, that's that's the plan, but uh, what will probably uh, I don't know how how much uh, how, how easy it will be given that the application so far is maybe not ready for libraries. Uh, it's more on uh, uh, oriented. It's it's more oriented on people for the moment adding books. So uh, uh, I, I'm not sure the interface is ready for so many books and uh, a library adding their books. But we, we will see, that's part of the experience. And uh, and also, yes, uh, a big part of this is also the, the, the using data that are uh, uh, open knowledge, that is uh, uh, data accessible uh, by anyone and with an open license so that anyone can reuse the data because today the data on books uh, are there are a lot of data on books that was one of the reasons why starting by books is interesting it's that there are a lot of data but there are no central uh, database for ISBNs and all the, the big databases Amazon Google Books uh, the seat in France are proprietary uh, databases and every everyone is greedy on the data and we could just say that now we have our open food fact or uh, open street map equ equivalents for books. That is a database, uh, uh, a free, uh, uh, open license and contributive database on books and in the future on products. And with, uh, uh, with uh, open link linked open data in mind, so RDF and other things like that. So, sorry, should, should, should I should I go further on what is uh, open link data or? I think uh, it's, for now it's uh, pretty awesome. I <laughs> Thank you. And uh, now I have something to look up. <laughs> I don't I don't hear you very well. Sorry. Yes, I'm sitting far away. Right. <laughs> yes. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, yes that's, that's good. Okay. <laughs> Come closer. <laughs> okay. It's pretty awesome that you. Uh, that's uh, we really need the, the library. Um, um, how can I add? Easy. I just. Uh, I need books that are open source, right? No, no. The, the, uh, well, the you, you don't. The, the, the problem is not books being open source. It's the uh, the the books metadata being open licensed. And that's uh, I'm working on the uh, with other people. I'm, I'm thinking about you, you. You might know the people at Wikidata in Berlin. 
Uh, they are they are working uh, with data from Wikipedia, so structured data uh, from Wikipedia, and I really uh, I, I'm I'm discussing with them on how we could uh, because the, the the problem with Wikidata is that they are already uh, open data on books, but it's not enough granular, it's not enough uh, precise for uh, uh, books that wouldn't be in an encyclopedia. Okay. It's really, it gets the same problem as Wikipedia that is cent centered on uh, uh, doing an encyclopedia. So, for example, the, the last book published by WeShare isn't in Wikidata because WeShare isn't, isn't in, Wikida uh, in, uh, in Wikipedia. So it doesn't have the, the, the legitimity to, the, to be in Wikidata. So what, what I try to, to, uh, uh, to push is uh, a Wikidata for sub-encyclopedic uh, items <laughs> and uh, like uh, all sorts of books. Uh, what was started actually by uh, uh, Aaron Schwartz, uh, that was the open library uh, project, but it's uh, not really like, uh, as Aaron Schwartz uh, is not there anymore. Uh, it's not really uh, dynamic now. And um, so that, that's really one of the, the, the main uh, issue at the moment is to, to get this uh, 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 database where we can collect uh, uh, data in a collaborative and open way on books to start, but also on other products. I don't know if you're how familiar with... We, how can we add um, our <laughs> Can you post uh, link to that under this Google Hangout? So that can I post, sorry? Again? The question is, how can I uh, make the inventory of my personal library on your web page? I would yes. really like to add my books to your library that I have on Circular Economy. How can I do that? And so, could you post the link on yes. under our Google Hangout so that other people that listen to this Google Hangout can find the link and can also post their inventory if they want. Okay, so I will try to. I don't know how to. I'm full screen. There should be something yeah, to. Yeah, you yep. can do it afterwards. Yeah, but <laughs> the, it's it's just uh, inventor.io. So. Okay. Much okay. So I, that I will uh, totally look that up and uh, looking forward to, to see. Uh, I don't hear you really well. The inventaire IO, and yes. we're going to post that under the Google chat so that anybody who would want to contribute to an open library and two things uh, before leaving uh, so at the moment there is no tagging system in inventor so you just do the, the inventory of the books but I'm really much working on that and so at some point in the coming months I hope we will get for example a uh, circular economy tag a circular economy tag where we, you could filter all your friends book and see only things connected to the circular economy and also put people nearby and things like that so that's one thing and also as the wikidata team invited me to come to berlin to work on those uh, databases i will be around i hope so in uh, july and august so if you want to talk to this uh, in more details i would love to to have yeah. drink and work on that. It'd be awesome. Yes. Wow. Great. Okay. Okay. Shall I call Timothy back or? <laughs> Berlin, Maxime. All the best. All the best. Thanks. Bye. 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 Um, <laughs>